Good morning guys, it is travel day! Welcome to another Vlogmas and today we're traveling to Florida. Yesterday at 7, uh, as I probably already told you, we got our results and we both have negative PCR tests so we are allowed to fly and it is around six o'clock in the morning and we are just putting the last things in our bags. That is the last thing to do, is just putting your last thing in our bag and we, then, we, then we're gonna travel. We're waiting for the uh, cab to pick us up. I am going to pour a Starbucks coffee into me. Uh, I have one of those cold ones you get from the refrigerator, a little one and i'm gonna drink that so that i have a little bit of caffeine in me because i'm exhausted i woke up at three this morning with my tummy just saying hey i shouldn't have had gluten yesterday that's 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 what that t tells me we're on our way i'm super excited like super extra ordinary excited that we're leaving in a little little while i'm gonna make sure that i know where my passport is and where all of our bookings are, all our papers are packed as they should be. Uh, but I think I think that that is we we're almost ready to go. Also picked up a little uh, lanyard that I'm going to put on my mobile phone so that I can uh, have have it around my neck so I can record stuff. So that is the idea. That is the morning. I am so deliriously happy and so exhausted at the same time. But yeah, we're leaving. Good morning. So, we are on our way. It is a winter wonderland outside on our way to Stockholm. So, I thought I'd take some footage of it, show you the little ride. We took a cab because then we don't need to have a, any winter jackets or anything that is taking up unnecessary space in our luggage. Uh, and like I didn't really want to go to a bus at negative 14 yeah for breakfast we had some coffees lattes smoothies and Christopher had a cinnamon bun this is at the airport outside the um, the gates or even outside the security this is inside the security so this is the tax-free area where you can get cheap perfumes cheap candies i don't know if they're cheap they're supposed to be cheap but you never know and this is the lounge so because we are flying premium tickets with sas uh, which is called plus we do get lounge access so free breakfast free coffee and also a really really nice view outside the lounge so we're sitting in the uh, on the uh, on the plane waiting for takeoff. We were already like 45 minutes late by this time. We had, there were a connected flight from Norway that was late, so we ended up being late. Um, it didn't bother us really. It wasn't stressful for us because we uh, had a couple of hours to kill in New York. What you're looking at is how they are defrosting the wings. Christopher thought, this is fun to record. And yeah, this became so beautiful. This is so beautiful, right? With the steam and everything. So we got ready. Now we are going to fly. And as you see, it's just winter on the land. It's snow everywhere. Heard that there isn't that much snow left, but we'll see when we get back. But yeah, so uh, we taking off to Newark. Now there's going to be some footage from this plane, but no footage from the connected flight nor the Newark airport. I was so tired by then that make taking photos wasn't really something I wanted to do. Instead, we got our phone cards registered, so we we activated and registered our AT&T cards that we bought through Amazon. So we have them with us 
and as we were in New York and in the US we could pay for everything. This is the food, so salmon and some kind of salad, a uh, cookie, some mashed potatoes. I started eating and then I'm like, yeah, right, that was supposed to record this. This is where we go into landing to Newark. Now the flight from Newark to Miami was a United Airlines. We were a little bit disappointed. We were supposed to have premium tickets, but it didn't feel like they were premium tickets in any shape and form. Uh, we were sat very long back in the plane. We got a cookie and some um, something else to eat. We were supposed to get a meal. So yeah, we are going to complain to SAS so that they know what happened. But yeah, here we are going in for a landing and that is where I ended recording the journey. So next you will see the new hotel. Hey guys, so we have arrived. I'm standing just under here. Let's do this instead. <laughs> Hi everyone, we have arrived at the hotel, so I thought I'd show you a very very quick uh, walkthrough of the hotel before we head to bed, because we're heading to bed, it is 11 o'clock, we've been up, up for more than 24 hours and I didn't have a really good night, so yeah, exhausted is, it doesn't really explain it, really, honestly. Anyhow, let's start with the room. This is the Sheraton uh, Miami Airport Hotel. We tried the Miami Airport Hotel, the specific one. We didn't like it, so because we do like our Marriott's, we did the Sheraton one. However, we did miss the shuttle, so we paid about $13 for a cab, plus tip. But anyhow, uh, let's go from the start to the finish. So this is the bathroom, um, a, a quite nice one actually, uh, I kind of like it. They also do have the, the soaps and stuff in containers. I'm a little afraid of these because if they aren't used enough you can get mold in them. However we have our own for that case anyhow. But it's just like a normal plain bathroom, pretty nice, pretty nice. Then we have the uh, doorway. Behind me we have some cupboards, you know, ordinary cupboards. And we have another cupboard here. You know, ice, water, all of those things. Oh. Mirror, hi! And then we have our double bed. We all always have two beds in our rooms because then we can have the bags on one and sleep in the other. I don't know, it also gives you a little bit of extra space somehow they do have a bench over the t uh, under the tv where you also can get some coffee uh with very nice um starbucks coffees wondering if they have a starbucks at the bottom because then i can get starbucks in the morning anyhow <laughs> this table and again the beds with this uh, backdrop quite nice and i'll show you the 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 view tomorrow when it's light because it's it's pitch dark because it's almost midnight but it's 26 degrees out here and i'm really stoked i'm really stoked we're in miami guys we're in miami we're in florida tomorrow there's a long drive up to orlando but today travel day is done it's done and so are we so good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye